Thank you. I knew you would make a rational decision. Rational? How is this rational? Do you understand the danger? I know full well the dangers of magic, but killing innocents because they might be Maleficarum is not justice. I know you are angry. You know nothing! I am thinking about the future of the Circle, of Ferelden! I am just willing to see the painful truth, which you are content to ignore. Ah, but what can I do? As you can see, I am in no position to directly influence your actions, though I would love to deal with the mages myself. My cage is Aldred's doing, or one of his mages. Once they're dead, I will be free. No one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. I remember you, Irving Star Pupil. Aldred didn't think much of you then, and I certainly don't see your appeal now. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Ah, oh, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. And freeing them in the process. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The Chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. And what good did that do? I still won. Wait, what do we have here? Why, it's the first enchanter. Come, say hello to your old apprentice, Irving. <laughs> Don't mind the blood. He's had a hard day. What have you done to him? Stop him. He, 
is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never! That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually. As will you. Oh, I'm not stupid. Do you think I'm going to let you wander around this tower knowing you are a pawn of the Templars? You are a thorn in my side, and I must remove you before you fester. No, but it served to bring the point across. I cannot let you be, but killing you? Such a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages, and win this fight for us.
help. Irving, are you all right? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. I was surprised to see you standing there, but I am glad you have returned. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. <laughs> 